guys, Tyler Hooks here with Brock Champlin, and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the Schumacher Racing products. We're here at Northwest Hobbies for NCTS round two for 2023. Um, been rocking and rolling with the Schumacher stuff for the past over a year now. Um, how's it been going, and uh, how's this event going for you? Yeah, obviously, when I came on to the team, it was a bit of a learning curve. We went through a lot of, you know, I guess CSI you call it, or just <laughs> R&D. <laughs> But yeah, we learned a lot in a short period and we're able to kind of get the flow of things early on. And then um, obviously advancing at a rapid rate, we have a lot of new cars that have come out since I've joined the team. And then, uh, yeah, this is, as far as this event goes, um, a TQ two wheel drive was able to get all three rounds. So it was pretty close in second and third round, really close, um, but awesome so far. All right, so for the carpet side of things, what are the, the newest models of the Schumacher cars? So I'm currently running the LD2, which is the newest two-wheel drive, and then in four-wheel drive I run the L1R, which uh, we came out with a few months ago. But those are the newest models and the ones to have. And so for like uh, J Concepts products, for example, for your two-wheel and four-wheel, what do you like to run here at Northwest? Yeah, so I'm hopped up, obviously with the tires, wheels, the fuzz bite rear, the uh, this pin spike front. And then the mono wheels and then um, as far as the wing goes it's the high down for six and a half inch and the s2 body j concepts so why do you prefer to run the six and a half versus say the seven um, i think it's track preference what i've noticed with the the seven inch wing is it honestly feels to me like i have more grip because the car rolls around a lot more in the rear um, sometimes on carpet you get the impression that it has more grip but then when it rolls it dumps it does weird just more weird things so I prefer the, the more narrow wing it kind of just feels like it drives a little flatter and a little more square which is how I like to drive and then as far as uh, you know one of the questions we get a lot especially with you guys is you know for the Schumacher stuff are you running up on the two wheel for example are you running a lot of what comes in the kit or do you have some weird stuff or what yeah both of my cars this weekend are straight from the from the kit there's only a few like upgrades some things here and there that are uh, like everyone can buy so I uh, got things like shock bodies that are Kashima coated and then uh, front hub carriers which are aluminum a little more durable rear hub carriers running the four-wheel drive hubs on the two-wheel drive that's something that we started doing when the L1R came out and then as far as everything else it's pretty pretty standard I'm still running like a, a plastic rear diff and two-wheel drive rather than the aluminum um, keeps the noise down a little bit and then four-wheel drive is like basically the same generic stuff I'm running a little more aluminum stuff to keep it a little more beefy keep it a little more square on the track but yeah it's all uh, store bought well big thank you to Brock for taking some time to, to show us a little bit about his car and talk a little bit about Schumacher and then thank you to the Schumacher team for supporting the NCTS and the INS series for 2023 we greatly appreciate it and we hope to see more Schumacher cars at the track here soon